Oh, you like bang loud noises? Here we go. This is one I learned years ago from Erwin Telesnik, a demonstrator and workshop presenter extraordinaire from up in Toronto. I know Canada. I always, thank you for narrowing it down. Toronto. Okay. Um, lots of different ways of generating hydrogen. I've got some uh, zinc in the flask and some HCl here. Okay. Meanwhile, this Pringles can has a hole there, a hole there, and a hole in the top, which I've covered with tape. Okay? Since it's hydrogen gas, it's less dense than air, and it's actually going to be filling this Pringles can from the top down. But hydrogen is invisible, so one way I can test to see if it's actually, I've got a little cutoff pipette, I'm going to see if I've filled up my container, take a little sample from the bottom. Come on. Oh, hear a little pop. I held it this way in, when I took it out, but that confirmed that we have a tank full of hydrogen here. Ready? So, lift it up, put the lid on, take the tape off of my finger over it. It's all a process here. We'll move this a little further away, huh? And hopefully I get this lid in time. There we go. It lit. But you were expecting a loud bang, weren't you? That's a lot of hydrogen there. Well, let me move this out of the way too. <laughs> you might want to cover your ears soon because this is going to blow, but I want you to think about why there's a delay. Cover your ears. Wow. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite catch that one. So, the delay, that was pure hydrogen, right, in that Pringles can. It couldn't react because it had nothing to react with. Now, it was leaking out through the top hole and mixing with oxygen, and that was supporting a little flame which was nearly invisible. Hydrogen burns with an almost invisible flame. What that little flicker of orange you saw was, I think, actually the flame test of the sodium from those Pringles potato chips when they were in the can. I'm serious. Um, but then as the hydrogen was leaking out through the top hole, air was leaking in through the side holes. And when it reached a combustible mixture, kablooey. I said a combustible mixture. Please don't think it reached the two to one optimum. That would have been a lot louder had it been a two to one hydrogen oxygen, or I guess it'd be a two to five hydrogen to air if you follow that. Air is about one fifth oxygen. It goes off way before that. The mistake some students, some teachers make with that is they don't fill the canister all the way. They have it, you know, they've had it on there long enough, they figure. Hydrogen's leaking out through the pores of that cardboard. So you have to fill it with a good clip. Now, see, this has died down already. Then they go to light it, and maybe they don't succeed right away. They keep trying. And then all of a sudden, as they go to light it, it goes off even louder than that because it has something that's even closer to the stoichiometric mixture. So anyway, I